Hey, what is going on, dudes? Gamma Bash here with a new game. That is right, guys. I'm going to be playing Earthbound. By far, one of my favorite games ever. Like, on a list of my top five favorite games, it's my second. It's definitely my second. Oh my gosh, I love this game so much. Also, I gotta lower down my, my volume. Jeez. Okay. Now that I've lowered down my volume, we'll get right into it. We're going to start a new game. We're going to make the text fast. Stereo, of course. Plain text because I like that. Okay. Please name him. Well, you know, we're going to name him. What should we name him? I don't know. I don't want to do like... What I would personally do is write, name him something very vulgar. But, you know, I'll just name him... Yeah, I'll just name him this. Or maybe we'll call him Ness. I don't know. Actually, we'll just call him Gamma Bash. Yeah, leave it like that. Whatever. Uh, for these characters, I just don't. I like their regular names. Oh, wait. No, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah. I have a better name for this guy. For Jeff. I have a much better name. A bar. A by far much better name. There we go. Perfect. It's perfect now. Name another kid. Okay. Oh, guys. This guy's regular name is amazing. Okay. Name your pet? Well, we're obviously gonna name him. Well, we're gonna name him something special. Nobody's gonna get this. I'll explain it later. We're gonna name him... Oranges. Trust me. Trust me. Favorite food? Don't care. We're gonna call it steak. What's your favorite thing? Rockin' hammer. Love. Uh. I'm gonna do that because it just feels right. It just feels right, man. Oh my gosh. I love this game so much. Uh I love this game so much. It's my Oh, it's so good. If you've played Undertale or like Undertale, this is basically Undertale. Well, it was this is what inspired Undertale to begin with. So, yeah. Gamma's house. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Something outside has fallen, and we gotta go check it out in our pajamas. Look at that hair. That's exactly how I wake up, to be honest. I, I mean, really. That's how everybody wakes up, I think. Unless you wake up with perfect hair, then you're lying if you say that. Okay. Let's open the door, and let's let's go. Let's go in my pajamas. Let's do this. Okay. So basically, Earthbound is by far my favorite game. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm getting nostalgic just playing it right now. Uh, the art, like, the pick, it's, this is for the SNES. This is honestly so beautiful. I don't know, something about it, the art style. It looks great. Also, I'm, I want to open it. Check it. I got a bread roll. Okay, cool. Let's go. Up the hill. Up the hill we go. Where's this guy? Hey, Gamma. Hiya, buddy. 
A meteor fell down and went BOOM! It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help me <laughs> to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also I also wanted to tell you, whoops. I almost told you about my uh by the way, Gamma, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the rest the message myself. That's my job, you know. I'm the board billboard guy. Jeez. Why don't you check out my work? Okay. I can't read for my life. Why'd I play this game? My gosh. Treasure Hunter. Okay, cool. He'll be important later. Maybe. Possibly. Hey, Gamma. Don't be a rubberneck. You're getting in the cops' oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Okay, I'm gone. Bye-bye. This game is pretty, has a really slow start, like, absolutely starts off with a crawl. It's, it's really kind of annoying sometimes, but it's still, still a great game, still. So basically, you just walk up a hill, you talk to Pokey, and then walk down. That, that's it, that's it. Great gameplay, 10 out of 10, huge, best game ever, IGN rates. I probably want to keep track about how long this episode is going to be. I don't want it to be, like, three hours long. Okay. You know, let's just, let's just... Welcome home, Gamma. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll do so, Mom. Oh, my gosh. Well, somebody's knocking at the door, and we gotta go check because nobody else in this house can nobody else can do open doors except us not even her mom she stays in here all day poor soul and he lets himself in too he doesn't even let me open the door he's just like yeah i'm in now hey listen to what i've got to say when i took poker to the place where the meteorite landed can i speak oh good evening ma'am you're looking lovely as usual snicker okay I probably should have just snickered instead of sni saying snicker. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I was saying, as I was saying, the police were, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, the local ruffians. They're really going wild. Suddenly I noticed Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't me at all. Okay, sure, yeah. Blame the cops is what we do all the time. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. That's not proper grammar, I don't think. You're my best friend is the correct thing. Okay. Won't you help me find Picky? No. If you refuse, I'll cut you. <laughs> if you refuse, I'll... If you refuse, gosh, can I speak to save my life? Okay. If you refuse, I'll say something. I'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? No. Okay. I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? Okay, sure. You said please. Okay, good. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Do you agree, ma'am? Okay, cool. I'll say bye-bye. Bye-bye, mama. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Roy's with along. Okay. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. I can't speak. This entire LP is going to be me saying I can't speak over and over again. <laughs> no matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. Cool. Thanks, Mom. You gave me a lot of inspiration. Oh, natural bone fire. Okay, cool. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Uh, what if I want to go in my jammies, Ma? Let me live my life. My gosh. God, you gotta bug me every five minutes about going out of my pajamas. What if I just want to live my life as a pajama man? Okay, cool. No, we check it. We don't talk to inanimate objects. That's really weird. It's like, hey, can you open for me? Please? I kind of don't want to do anything. Can just open, please. Tracy, I think she gives me a cookie. Yeah. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Okay, yeah, she does. Okay, I'm took the cookie. You like, okay. She's basically like, um, an extra inventory now. You can call her 
And she'll be like, what's up, dude? You wanna leave some stuff for me? And I'm just like, yeah, boy. Okay, I am so weird. Please kill me now. I just joined you. Okay, let's go. Sorry about giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. I forgot to equip my rep my weapon. Oh. Okay, I probably should do that. I forget how to, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, the game is funny that way. Like, it's like... It doesn't directly tell you, equip your weapon. It does it in a really sarcastic way. It's like, yeah, you dumb idiot, you forgot to equip your weapon. You better equip it now. Gamma entered the, the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. It's like, hello, it's your dad. He says hello, but with no quotation marks. Then it proceeds to have quotation marks. That bothers me just a little bit, but it's fine. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of that saying? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. He was... Okay, never mind. Don't, don't, don't listen to me. I'm bad. Have, eh, have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Okay. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. I wish that could happen. Why, why, why couldn't my dad do that? I mean, my dad's awesome. I love him, but still. Okay. He basically just deposits money in your account, and is a save. So, yeah. There's no character development there. It's just, I'm your save point. You better save, boy. Okay, there's our first enemy, a dog. Okay, so basically, when you're fighting, you have... <laughs> See what I did? See what I did? Gamma Bash! Ah, I'm so funny! Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, PSI. You basically have your attack, regular and normal attack. PSI, which I'll get into later. Goods, defend, auto fight, and run away. Auto fight, I, don't, I never use it because it's horrible. Don't ever use auto fight, never. Okay. So when you're fighting, basically your dog attacks sometimes, Pokey does nothing, and you do damage. So, yeah. The enemies in this game are kind of easy to say, at least. They're really easy. But there are sure a lot of them in the beginning. Like, it can start getting very annoying very fast, but whatever. And now, right there, I learned a PSI move. I learned Life Up Alpha, I think. I don't know my signs, so whatever. I think it's Alpha. I think. So what PSI attacks do, well, I'll show you here if I can if I can use one. It's not a PSI attack, it's more a PSI effect. I don't know. Okay, okay. He attacked me? Oh gosh, dang it, I killed him in one move. Well, uh, I was gonna show you what PSI does, but never mind. Never mind that. Okay. Let's try. Let's see if we could, we could still use it. PSI. So basically, it cost PP, which is I think psychic power. I think that's what it stands for. You have right there, under below your HP, how much you have right now. So basically, if I use it, okay. Basically, the life up alpha gives your health back. So it's pretty useful. You don't have to carry any help. Um. Like any items to boost your health or whatever, you kind of you can just use PSI attacks. But personally, I don't really use my PSI for healing much. I use it more for attacks. And there will be a PSI attacks later if I haven't already given that away. And that was a spiteful crow, probably one of my favorites because of the bow tie. It's bow tie, it's so sexy. Anything in a bow tie looks hot. I mean, really. But you I have to admit. I mean, if you look at a person in a bow tie, pretty pretty cool. But I've never worn a bow tie. I don't think I own one either. Huh. Okay, whatever. Okay. There's a snake again. Gosh, what I tell you about this being a very slow start? Oh my gosh. That's why one thing that I hate about this game is a super slow start. It's so slow. Oh my gosh, but... Like, after that... After, like, the super slow start... It's a really fun game. It honestly is. It's very quirky. It is. Oh my gosh. Everything about this game is. The gameplay itself isn't very. How do I say? It's not very evolved. You're not really. You don't really have to think much about it. Just press a button. Well, for most fights at least. Just press bash or use PSI attack at the right time. It's pretty simple. 
The thing is about the text, which is why this is a big part of the game. There's a lot of text, and that's why I'm kind of scared of doing this, because I can't read from a life. Okay, the dog just left because it's scared. Bye-bye, doggy. Doggo. Doggo, no. Doggo is scared. And this is Picky, you can only assume. Wow, oh. You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real older brother. Oh man. Gosh. Picky is a lot smarter than Pokey, to be honest. Gamma! Do you hear a buzzing sound that... <laughs> Do you hear that... Oh, I can't read from my life. Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Well, no. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Oh, there it is. Okay. They're abducting the meteor. Or me. Another one. Or it's just a fly. A magical fly. A B I M, not. I am from 10 years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sends all to the hor sends all to the horror of internal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will receive the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Gamma. This I believe. Gyx's monstrous plan must have have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the, the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intention of Gyx. Three things are utmo of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient time tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Gamma. Do you... Did you listen to what I just told you? Uh, yeah. I, I listened. I read it out loud. Too old to hear. Okay, cool. One thing I forgot to talk about this game is the music. Oh, the music is so good. Oh, okay. Gamma! It looks like you're in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? That's it. Because I'm not into this kind of stuff at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. And actually, I think we're going to have to end it off here, guys. So, thank you all for watching, guys. Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll see what happens to Buzz, Buzz Buzz, Ness, well, Gamma, Picky, and Pokey. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.